I'd like to uh, thank everybody here for uh, attending our webinar on Microsoft Power Pivot for J.D. Edwards. Uh, this is the first time that Preferred Strategy has delivered this webinar, so um, congratulations on being uh, the first attendees here. Um, my name is Adam Krieger. I'm the president and founder of Preferred Strategies. I'll be walking through today's session. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. The agenda for today, a uh, little brief background about myself. I used to work for a GD Edwards customer for about five years back in the mid to late 90s. Uh, started Preferred Strategies in 2002 really to help GD Edwards customers implement uh, reporting and BI strategies. Started around Crystal Reports and over the years we just kind of expanded beyond that to the full suite of, of BI offerings like Business Objects, Oracle, and uh, things like today, we're going to show you uh, Power Pivot. Um, we'll go a little, little bit more about preferred strategies and our, our company overview in a couple minutes. But um, I came from a finance department, and uh, you know that's kind of where where my uh, my background is. Uh, we'll get into a little bit about the JD Edwards data model complexities. Again, an overview of preferred strategies, Power Pivot, live demonstration. Then we'll come back to Power, PowerPoint for a few slides talking about the strengths and challenges of, of Power Pivot. Talk about our BA Quick Launch, which is uh, the primary source of the information that we're going to be demonstrating today. Uh, and then open up to any questions. So, uh, like I said, as we're going along, feel free to post the questions. We'll, uh, we'll tackle those at the end. So, there's a lot of challenges and data model complexities, um, a lot of just complexities in general about reporting and, and business intelligence on J.D. Edwards as a, as a source. Uh, there's thousands of tables behind the scenes, cryptic names like F0006 for the business unit master, uh, the field names, GMOBJ, uh, the data stored, dates are stored in a Julian format, the uh, decimals are, are, are uh, the, the maps and years are stored without decimal places. So, um, and even pulling in a lot of descriptive fields uh, is complicated and um, not only is just the, the data model structured in a way that's, that's hard to report on, but you have to then build logic and calculations like year-to-date actual amounts and budget amounts and, um, you know, those are the, the time-based measures that, that don't come out of the box in the system. You have to build those with a front-end tool, whether, whether it's a BI tool or in some place. So those are just some of the challenges. Obviously, there's, there's a lot more. Just there's a lot of knowledge required, depending upon what module you're pulling as well, and a lot of other domain experience that, that you'll need to, to pick up to really become extremely powerful on, on any report writing tool. So Preferred Strategies as, as an organization, again, we focus on reporting and business intelligence for J.D. Edwards. We're a little different than, than a lot of other vendors out there in this space uh, for J.D. Edwards customers in that we haven't built our own BI software. What we've chosen to do as an organization is use the market-leading BI applications that are available, but tailor them for JD Edwards. So we provide market-leading business intelligence tailored for JD Edwards World and Enterprise One customers. We focus primarily around Oracle BI, Business Objects BI, and, and in this case, you know, Power Pivot and Microsoft to some degree. Uh, Real-time reporting. So that's been our, our our specialty is being able to deliver real-time reporting to our customers. Uh, we have Jumpstart packages for a variety of different applications. We'll begin to a little bit more about that towards the end. We also support, uh, for companies that don't want to report real-time, we can support data warehouse um, and operational data store type processes as well and have pre-built content around that. We also do implementation and training and consulting of, around BI and reporting related elements. So, in a nutshell, that's kind of what we do as an organization. So, Power Pivot's fairly simple, and, and uh, getting into Power Pivot, uh, me personally, I'm a little conflicted here, um, and the reason for that is that uh, just in the, the little tinkering that, that I've personally have done with Power Pivot, um, I like the tool very much. I think it's a great ad hoc tool, but coming from a decade plus in the BI realm, where we're talking about end-to-end -end BI capabilities, secured, managed architectures, uh, obviously a lot bigger footprint in those things, but, but it's um, you know, now getting back to what can we do inside of Excel. So the beauty of this, and I think of Power Pivot, is that we're empowering people that are already living in Excel, still getting them a little bit away of, of the integrity of information that's being pulled in, 
that's really kind of where Power Pivot comes in here. If you look here on the slide, really you've got your different data sources. Um, could be JD Edwards and any other application, those, those databases. The Power Pivot engine is what's allowing you to connect to those data sources, create SQL queries that allow you to be refreshing that data on certain intervals and, and are on demand. So you're not really, in essence, users aren't going and exporting information from a system and then importing it in to uh, Excel and then manually doing that every single month. Um, or even people that are set up custom macros to, to dump data in. It's more of a managed way to get the data into the spreadsheet. But then once you see what you can do, and if you already are familiar with pivot tables, then, then um, you, if, you, if you haven't used Power Pivot, then this just gives you a few more options, and we'll show you that. But it's really kind of that, that Power Pivot data engine that's the power here. Um, so you, you can truly use Excel as, a, as an ad hoc report writing tool.